Good morning. I'm sure many of you already know, but I am not a morning person. Oh, that is a bag and a half. I am not a morning person, and um, I require coffee on a daily basis. So uh, today I thought we would try something I found the other day, and that is Cafe El Moro. Um, it says 100% pure coffee. It's Espresso Cafe, and it says, it says Puerto Rico Coffee Company, Hoboken, New Jersey, but it doesn't actually say it's from Puerto Rico. It doesn't say a whole lot on here. Um, yeah, that is literally all it says on here. It just <laughs> says Hoboken, New Jersey, Puerto Rico Coffee Company, and a phone number. So, all right, let's pop it open and see what we can do. All right, so the way I generally make coffee is um, I love my Jose's and a coffee grinder and just a standard drippy pot thing. So we've got this Cafe Moro here. I'm just going to do this all one-handed, trying to cut this one-handed, waiting for the vacuum seal. Sorry, I had to set you down there for a second. All right, let me smell this. It looks okay. Looks like ground coffee. No big deal. It smells old, but I guess that's to be expected with pre-ground coffee. And by the way, this was like a dollar at the dollar store. So that'd be fun to try something. So I'm putting, yeah, putting half of it in there. So... Uh, 50 cents a pot. <laughs> All right, goes in the set. Push this twice so that we got the strong setting. Can you guys see that? Strong and then on. All right, just in a bit. It's going in, that's why. It's like, is the rubber mallet too soft? All right, you guys, our coffee has finished brewing, and I just opened that little Splenda for myself. So we got over here, I got three cups, um, and I'll tell you why. So um, mine is the middle cup. I like a Splenda, and then I like a little half and half, my big girl cup. And then I got a cup for uh, Rudolph, the Red Nose Raccoon, and then I got a little tasting cup for myself uh, so I can taste it black. So let's see, I got it white, we got it sweet. I got my trusty mustache straw. And uh, let's give it a pour. Oh, it's very dark, it's very dark. It's about mine. I go for cardboard color. One for the raccoon. All right, and just a little a little half taster for me so I can taste black black all right let's give these a taste yes I know this is not our normal tasting situation oh I forgot to snub you when I did the thing oh well all right so first of all I'm going to try the um the just the black just plain black coffee not really my deal but I will drink it so um it smells like pre-ground coffee. It doesn't smell super fresh. There you go. That's a better angle. Do I have sleepy in my eyes? Okay. It tastes like hotel coffee. It tastes like the stuff that's pre-ground. It's in the little packet. You put it in the tiny little maker and then you pop it on. It's pretty bitter. Yeah, that's why I like. Yeah, that's why I like some uh, half and half and Splendor. All right, let's get my my special mix a little try here. Mm, oh, that's better. I like the mellowness, the, the half and half, which is, if you're not familiar, half and half. It's half milk and half cream, so it's a... Uh, a lower fat milk product. Um, don't drink it for the lower fat, just if whipping cream is too heavy, so.
That's okay. It's not great. It definitely tastes pre-ground. I don't know if you know what I mean. It has, it has that flavor of, it's been sitting around a while. Um, as far as pre-bagged coffee that costs a dollar, yeah, I guess it's fine. And, um, yeah, there you go. All right, let me pick it back up here again. So, all right, there's our mini review of Cafe El Moro. If you're in a pinch and you got a dollar, you got coffee. So, um, yeah, it tastes like hotel pre-ground coffee. There you go. El Moro. Oh. All right, you guys, um, Robert Jones, this is Unimonious Mark II taste test. I hope you enjoyed uh, checking out one uh, little dollar store product. And uh, if you liked it, come back, subscribe. We'll see you next time. Take care.